My single color memorial swirl paperweights all start out by gathering clear glass first. I roll the clear glass on the table to push the glass off the pipe to utilize as much as I can. The next step is dipping it in the color. It is called frit and it's just crushed up glass, in this case they wanted blue. Here you can see me dip one side into the blue and then flipping it 180 to get the other side. I like to do that a couple times to make sure it's really saturated. After I have the color, then I stick the ash on the other sides of the walls, as well as the top. I'll shape it up quick, and then I'll go in to melt everything together. Here you can see me getting everything molten and ready to swirl. I use a tweezers to grab the end of the glass and then swirl it by spinning it with the other hand. I love how this swirl turned out. After swirling everything together, I go back to the furnace of clear glass and encase everything I just did. Then I use a wet piece of newspaper to shape the piece. I love this part because it's as close as I get to touching the glass. Next, we use a tool called a jax. You create a jack line where the glass is going to break free from the pipe. As you can see, it's just a tapered down line. As you can see, the glass looks a lot different when it is hot than when it's at room temperature. This will be cobalt blue when it is cooled down. Once it is cool enough, I give the jack line a tap with the butter knife. I give the pipe a tap, and then it is free. I use a torch to make the bottom molten again. And then I flip it over onto a graphite pad, give it a little smush down, and then it'll sit perfectly flat. Then it is straight into the annealer where it'll sit overnight and cool down evenly so there's no thermal shock. Here's the finished piece. It is absolutely beautiful and I'm sure the customer will love it.